guys can go whenever, sorry. So, uh, one week into the season, in terms of games, uh, to come away with, with two wins, uh, how does it feel to be in that position right now? Oh, uh, you uh, uh, delighted, um, proud of the guys. Um, we realize we've still got a lot of work ahead of us, but it's been a good start. Two different games, difficult games. Um, you saw what Colgate did after, you know, went down and got a good result against Virginia. We knew that was going to be a very difficult game, to open the season on the road, and then um, Niagara always gives us a tough game, and I, and I thought our guys really approached that game the right way and, and put together not the complete game, but were, were very good um, and uh, made it made it difficult for Niagara. So good start, um, and uh, we just you know we've got another really difficult one on Thursday um, against the national tournament caliber program in Charlotte. So it's uh, it's a good way to kind of build into the season. And both games were clean sheets, uh, Tomas in net, and, and what have you seen from him and just working with Santiago um, as well, what they're doing together in that department? Uh, we've got a really good goalkeeping uh, group um, with Carl Jansen coming in as a really talented freshman. And then we're, we're very fortunate, and it's kind of an atypical uh, kind of goalkeeper set. We've got three older guys, all with college experience, and. Uh, it means that the training environment's terrific. We know there's a challenge that comes with that as well. So when, when Santiago joined us, we, he, he was excited about it, but he also realized that it's uh, uh, a short period to evaluate and Tomas has done great and he's continued to back that up in game. So, but uh, it's not just Tomas, he's, he's pushed and supported every day by a wonderful group of goalkeepers in, in Jaheim, Jason and Carl. So it's a, it's a fun, it's fun for me to watch that uh, environment and that, that kind of group develop and evolve, even in sh such a short period of time. Uh, while we're still on that topic, uh, what are some of the things that you've been most impressed that Santiago has, has brought to that group in terms of his experience coming in? Yeah, it's, uh, he's, he's doing a good job of, uh, look, you're, you're preparing a, a, a starting goalkeeper, but more importantly than that, you know, he's training for goalkeepers. Um, and he's, he you know, has a plan for each of them, um, but also uh, ensuring that all four of them are sharp. Things can change very quickly, and uh, um, but it, it's not just Santi. It's uh, you know I understand when you've got three experienced goalkeepers in Italian freshman that you know they they are sacrificing a lot uh, for the good of the group. Uh, the their attitude is is outstanding. They are the real kind of. Uh, cultural architects for our program. We talked about this going into the year. We knew we had three talented uh, goalkeepers, but more important than that, three very big personalities in that locker room. What have you seen from, from the guys in front of him in terms of the center backs? Obviously, with Andre, senior year, doesn't play much last year's in the starting line. You got a freshman, and then you got Sam obviously dropping back into the back there. What, what have you seen from the cohesion in that group? Uh, it's still a work in progress, but I think uh, the initially uh, very um, it's been a good a good start, and, and I think there's more from that as well, but I think they've done very well. Look, Andre had a great spring, uh, has that experience um, um, with us the last uh, last year or so, and uh, deserves this opportunity. I think he's been terrific. Sam is kind of like the vocal leader of our group, and then uh, Chim has come in and uh, has been outstanding. But we're also you know, losing Gavin Wig early on uh, in preseason. Uh, we're going to have to lean on some of those guys, but we've also we've got uh, a couple of younger guys in Garrett. Dom's uh, coming back uh, into the group as well, and Ben Rosenblatt has an important part. So uh, the group's been good, but once again, like our goalkeepers, I do think there's some depth there, um, and uh, uh, training's been very good. You touched on it earlier, obviously, Charlotte NCAA tournament team from last year, favorites in the American Athletic Conference this year. What have you just seen from him, from them? In terms of, I guess, last year, and kind of obviously they only have one game this year, but what do you kind of expect? Well, they're, they're one game this year, they were terrific. They played some of our ACC foes in preseason. It's a good good team, uh, uh, terrific program, well coached. Uh, I think both teams are probably looking forward to a good match and uh, a good test for both of us early in the season. And we need this kind of game to prepare us for what's coming down the road. These We've got the challenges of both. Charlotte, and then uh, our first ever local derby with uh, Lemoyne uh, next week. So this will be a fun week, but it starts by playing 
a terrific team that will be in the conversation for the NCAA tournament again this year. And uh, uh, we'll also find out a lot about our new young team uh, come Friday night, uh, Thursday night. How, how did that come about? Because typically I feel like you guys played Northeastern teams in terms of out of conference schedule. So, so how did a matchup like that come about? Just uh, two teams looking for a good game early in the season and the way uh, it, it changed with the, the season kind of going a week earlier uh, for both teams. Um, them looking to get get a good game out of region, same for us. Um, and for, for both, it'd be, you know, you don't like to kind of talk about RPI early in the year, but for both teams, it'll be, a, it'll be good uh, for the resume come October time. Yeah, so two goal, two games, two clean sheets. What are you sort of hoping to see from the team if and more than likely when you inevitably concede at some point? What kind of reaction do you want Well, to hopefully we never concede exactly. a goal and then you don't have to have that problem. Um, look, that's the nature of, uh, um, you know, absolutely. Uh, I've been I've been impressed with us playing to the final whistle, having a toughness and resilience, keep going in that Colgate game. It would have been easy on the road to accept a point, but kept pushing. But yeah, there's going to be moments, and and that's the the kind of championship teams have that ability to kind of foul quickly, evolve and move on. Uh, and forget the last play. So yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a test, and we've got many different tests that are coming up. But yes, at some stage that will happen. Hopefully that's not Thursday, and hopefully it's not for a while. But uh, uh, it's we're playing terrific teams. Uh, this Charlotte team's got a you know a really dynamic front four. They've got guys coming off the uh, 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 the bench that are uh, really dynamic. So we're, we're going to be stretched this week uh, on Thursday. Just wanted to ask you guys are just. Rag number seven in the latest coach's poll. Just wanted to hear your first reaction. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, it came out like about an hour ago. It's so this time of the horse. Yeah, you know, like it doesn't. Uh, interesting to see what it looks like in November time, right? Like it's you, you start well, you win some games. Um, I'm sure that will, you know, great. That's for the guys. Coaches, we worry about, you know, can we get better? Are we progressing on the field? All right, guys. Yep.